All right, so in this example, um, you guys can see that we have, a, we have a denominator, and both of our denominators is x minus 2. So then in this case, when I wanted to go and identify my LCD, my LCD is going to be x minus 2, right? Because really, this denominator is 1. So 1 and x minus 2 is obviously going to produce a, um, a common denominator of x minus 2. So again, as I mentioned, Basically, what we want to do is we want to get rid of, when we're solving rational expressions, we want to eliminate our, our uh, denominators. So I'm going to multiply everything by x minus 2. And what's nice about this is you guys can see that my x minus 2 in the numerator and denominator, those divide to 1. Over here, those divide to 1. So I'm left with an equation. 5 is equal to 7 times x minus 2 plus 10. Does everybody see how I got to this part? We good. So I'll make sure we're good. If you have any questions, let me know. Okay. So now I apply distributive property. 5 equals 7x minus 14 plus 10. Combine my like terms. 5 equals 7x minus 4. No. Yes. It's not the answer, I remember. Minus 4. Did I combine like terms correct? Oh, that's 5. Oh, did I write the problem wrong? Oh, I did. Really? It's OK. It's OK. It's just an x. It's just an x. It's just an x. It's OK. We can add that in there. It's just an x. It's OK. So now I subtract a 7x, and I get negative 2x equals negative 4. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, x equals positive 2. OK? But ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm sorry? Well, exactly. As you guys remember, if you guys look back at the original equation, what was the only value that x cannot equal? 2. So here my example is x is equal to 2. So therefore, this has no solution. Because it, in here, if you guys remember when we wrote these constraints, x cannot equal 2. Well, guess what? And when we solved it, x equals 2. So therefore, this would be an example where you're going to have no solution. All right. Now, sometimes we're going to have one solution. Sometimes you'll have two solutions.